In this question, he says that sum of four numbers in GP60 and the AM, that is arithmetic mean of the first and uh, the last is 18. We have to find these numbers. So you know that uh, numbers in GP, uh, we can take these numbers as say A, AR, AR square and AR cube, right? So these are the numbers here and uh, their sum is given. So we can write their sum as say the sum is A plus AR plus AR square plus AR cube, which is equal to 60 as it is mentioned in this question. So we can write this as equation one. Now later in the second part, it says that the <clears throat> sum of the first and the last term is given as 18. So that means a plus AR cube that divided by two is equal to 18. So you must be knowing that an two numbers in arithmetic mean, right? The arithmetic mean of two number is sum of these two number divided by two that is equal to AM, right? So we use this formula to obtain the another relation. So we can further simplify it and write this as uh, A plus AR cube is equal to 36. Let's this make, make it equation two. Now, what we are going to do is to divide, you say the first by the second. So on dividing the first by the second, I'm dividing it, say it says, the first is A plus AR plus AR square plus AR cube, that divided by the second, which is A plus AR cube is equal to, which is 60, that divided by 36. Later, we can reduce it. How can we reduce it? It's divisible by say 12, five times, 12, three times. We can take A common from the numerator and same with the denominator. So if you take A common from the numerator, what do we get inside? It is one plus R plus R square plus R cube. And in the denominator, we are getting one plus R cube. And on the other side, we have this as five over three. Now, these get canceled, as you know that uh, this A and A get canceled. For further simplifications, I'm doing it on the other part of the screen. So what we are left with uh, in the numerator, we can do uh, factorization by regrouping. So what I'm doing, I'm taking common one from the first two term, that is one plus R. And if I take uh, R square as common from the last two terms, so this is R square when taken common, I'll get one plus R over this. I'm applying A Q plus B Q an identity. A Q plus B Q is A plus B bracket a square that is one minus a b plus b square and this is five over three so i applied a q plus b cube identity in the denominator as i can see down on further factorization of the numerator in the next step we are getting one plus r and one plus r square over one plus r and this is one minus r plus r square is equal to five by three. What we can see here that this and this get canceled. Now I'm doing cross multiplication. On cross multiplication, we'll get, uh, this is three. Now on cross multiplication, we'll get five minus five R plus five R square is equal to three plus three R square. Now writing them in the standard form, this is two R square minus 5r plus 2 is equal to 0. Now we'll do a middle term factorization. That is, we are splitting this. This can be written as 4r uh, minus r plus 2 is equal to 0. As you can see, we have 2r common from the first two terms. So it's r minus 2. And taking minus one common is r minus two equal to zero. That means r minus two and two r minus one is equal to zero. 
Now, what do we see here that we got uh, two factor here? We got two values of R. The R here is one is two and the other is half. These are the two values of R. Now, what we had to get is the value of A. So we can place the value of A here on placing R as two, we'll get uh, A as four. And on placing the value of R in this equation, right, on placing R as half, I'm getting uh, A as 32. Now, in, simply you have to place these values of R and A over this, right? We're going to place this over here to get the final answer. So on placing the value of uh, R here, what are the values? First is A. So we'll get uh, the GP here. Right, and the GP can be uh, obtained by placing simply AS. Like say, for example, if I'm placing the first one, this one over here. So on placing this, what are the values we are getting? We'll get uh, A as four. So first term is four, clearly the first term is four. The next is four into two, that is eight. The third will be four into four, because it's R square, that is 16 and 32. Similarly, that's the one part. Similarly, you can get the other by placing these alternate values of A and R in the, you'll also get the same thing, but in reverse order, you'll actually get like this. This is, you'll get 32, sorry. You'll get 32, 16, eight and four by placing the value of R as half and A as 32.